right, guys, now it's time to begin our kitchen cabinets. We got pretty much everything done on our um, house now. But I need to start putting in what I consider the built-ins or the things that stay in the house when you sell the house. Um, so kitchen cabinets, tubs, toilets, that type of stuff. Um, vanities. So we're going to start putting these in. Right here is our kitchen area. Right here is what the cabinet layout looks like. If I'm looking at a floor plan, I have cabinet. These are base cabinets. Kitchen sink. Right there's that window. This right here is an upper cabinet. So the ones on the wall. So we call those wall cabinets and base cabinets. Right here is the stove or the range or the cooktop, whatever you want to call that. There's still upper cabinets above that. Right here is a refrigerator. And there's an the upper cabinet above the refrigerator. So let's take a peek quick at a kitchen in a elevation view. So there's the stove, again, or the range, micro hood, and then there's an upper cabinet above it. A few things to know. Dishwashers are 24 inches wide. So that's the same as putting a 24 inch cabinet in there. Range is 30 inches wide. Cabinets come in standard sizes anywhere from nine inches wide. So imagine this drawer stack here is actually one individual cabinet. It's a box cabinet. And then here's a second cabinet. Then there's an opening in the cabinet, 24 inch opening for the dishwasher. This cabinet here is a corner Lazy Susan. If I push on this door, this will spin around. And then there's a 30 inch opening for the range. And then there's another base cabinet there. Another Lazy Susan and come over this way. The refrigerator would have the same height cabinet right here for holding your refrigerator and there's that little cabinet above your refrigerator. Next step to kind of take a look at here is the distance from the countertop to the bottom of the wall cabinets is 18 inches typically. So you set your cabinets 18 inches away from each other. Now, upper cabinets have different heights. There's 30 inch height. There is um, 36 and 42. That depends on how high those cabinets are gonna go up to the ceiling. Like these here are 30 inch cabinets and we have what's called a soffit on top. So this is the ceiling is way up here and it drops down and puts a soffit on. They could have done a 36 or a 42 and put the cabinets right to the ceiling here. Okay? So that's a little basic difference on upper cabinets. Base cabinets, we have sink base cabinets. Those are at least 36 inches wide but can go up to 48 inches wide. So 30 inch range, 24 inch dishwasher, 36 to 48 inch um, sink, 30 inch a 36 inch refrigerator, 36 inches of your, the width for refrigerator, and the corners. So how I would lay this out is I would start off by laying my two corner cabinets. And then I'd lay my dishwasher, because I know that has to fit in there. Then I'd put my sink cabinet in. And then I'd figure out what this leftover is and put in the cabinet that would fit that leftover. Cabinets go anywhere from 9 inches up to 48 inches on 3 inch differences. So there's a 9, there's a 12, there's a 15, 18, 21, 24. So they go up every 3 inches. You can get any standard size um, up every 3 inches. So you have a 3 inch area and then there's also what's called a 3 inch filler. So if I had a little gap here, I could put a filler in there. All right, so that's the basics on cabinets, so let's start doing it. So we gotta put the cabinets in here. So we got a dishwasher, we got a sink base, and we got a corner. So again, we're gonna start out, we're gonna put this corner Lazy Susan in. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna try to 
bump this up a little bit higher. There we go. And we're going to come to our components, search 3D warehouse. And I search standard residential cabinets. Standard residential cabinets. Again, here's one of my models. It's going to work just like those windows and doors where you bring in everything and then we'll delete out what we don't need. Kind of talks about the cabinets here now. So I'm going to right click and hit explode. So here's my above refrigerator cabinets, here's my above range cabinets, here's my kitchen cabinets, vanity cabinets coming two different heights, 36 inch, that's called a comfort height, a um, little bit taller, and then a 30 inch. Vanity cabinets are also only 18 inches deep instead of the 24 inches deep that kitchen cabinets are. So vanities are your bathroom cabinets. So what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to pick, I'm going to do 30 inch uppers. So these kitchen wall cabinets, so I'm going to do these 30 inch uppers. I'm going to highlight everything else. And delete them. So now I know which set of cabinets I'm using for my upper cabinets. Now this is going to help out when I go to home and I hit and I come to all of my components that I'm using in my piece, I'm just going to hit purge unuse. It's a little recycling symbol. And what that's doing is deleting out all of these cabinets I just deleted so then I don't have a chance to pick the wrong I can always, if I need it again, I can always bring it back in and take care of it. But now I have my base cabinets. So I'm going to start out with my base corner Lazy Susan. I'm going to grab onto it. And these cabinets are set up to kind of stick to different things. Um, once in a while they can be a little bit tricky. So like now I can stick it to the floor, here it's sticking to that wall, here it's sticking to this wall. So what I want to do is try to stick it to that corner with it being on that wall. So right there I can see it kind of snap into that position. If you can't get it into that position, here's how you fix it. You stick it to this wall. I'm still in the move tool. I grab this cabinet on this corner and I set it straight down on this corner. So now it's stuck to this wall in this corner. Then I grab on this corner and stick it straight to this corner. Boom, the cabinet is set in the corner over there. Next thing we talked about is our dishwasher. I don't have a dishwasher picked out yet, but I know it's a 24 inch dishwasher. Dishwashers are standard at 24 inches. Go ahead, go measure yours at home. You can check it out. Again, I'm going to get it so it sticks to this wall. There I'm sticking it to the wall. And then I'm going to bring it straight down. And then I'm going to bring it straight over. And to get that green line there, I want to take a peek here. I want to be on my red line.
and I have it laying against the wall. Right there's my dishwasher opening. Okay, 36 inch cabinet for my window. Now, one thing I can kind of take a look at here, that dishwasher is gonna hit that frame. It's probably not gonna be a good situation, so if I could put a filler in over here, that would be a great plan. So I'm gonna slide it over a little bit. And I'm gonna bring it on this edge, and I'm gonna slide it over three inches. That's going to center and move our window a little bit, but that's not a problem. We're going to work with the window that way. Now I'm going to put my sink base in here. Thirty-six inch sink base, kind of a smaller kitchen, so I know I'm going to need a smaller sink base. Snap down there. Now this is pretty simple. I got my first one in the right spot. Corner, corner, boom. Now next to my sink, I always like to have a drawer base because I like to put all of my silverware by the sink. And then also I put all of my rags and towels by the sink. So I'm looking for a base drawers. And I'm gonna put an 18 inch right here. And again, I can just place it on the wall, and I grab at that top corner, set it at that top corner. And I have that set up. Now I've got to take a measurement. So i got my 3-inch filler over there for my dishwasher. Now I've got to take a measurement. About 2 feet. So I got a 24 inch cabinet, base 24. Just place it, grab the corner, set the corner on the corner. And if I take a look, that fits perfectly. If it didn't, I would take and select all of these cabinets. And then I could use the move tool and I can grab and I can move all of those so they fit perfectly and then I could trim my three inch filler down over there. And that is that side of the wall. 